And right about this point now is when things started to turn to shit. And good morning guys, thank you for joining me today. We are back at the White Desert here in Egypt. I was here last week's, on our last week's episode, doing star photography from this face. They call it the black man's face. So if you wanna watch that episode, please click up here. But now I've set up an image and composed already. But last night it was so beautiful to sleep over there. Got about three hours sleep because we're in group travel, people snore. It was absolutely lovely. But in all honesty, an absolutely incredible place. So many stars and just walking around here, apart from obviously the limestone, reminds me so much of back home. Very, very much like a little kid right now. But actually right now I've got the 18 to 55 on the X-T3 and composed an image. This morning, I talked about it on last week's episode, it was really difficult because we just got here, bang, trying to find compositions, it was quite difficult. Having the same issue this morning, got up about quarter to six, sunrise, or the best hour, sorry, uh, sunrise, was quarter past six. So you're sort of fosking around, trying to get footage, trying to find a composition, and I've sort of come across two. The first one is here, the second one is not too far away. But the first one, I actually struggled because if you've ever been to the desert, you get those really obvious lines that obviously is created by the wind here in not the Sahara but in the desert that we're in now and I wanted to try and get those lines in to the subject but I didn't get that the lines go actually the opposite way but what does go in to the middle of the frame or the black man's head here is these rocks that have been swept away by the wind so that's why I'm getting to go into the middle of the frame and I shot it about 20 minutes ago because I've already shot some b-roll segments and everything but very, very simple, F9, ISO 160. And I also did exposure bracket because on the histogram, it was reading just two thirds of a stop either way in the highlight. So I did exposure bracket to make sure I've got all that information in the back of the camera. The most important thing if you ever come to the desert, always walk from back to front of the composition because where we're standing here, if I stood anywhere more forward, it would have destroyed all the composition in my foreground. So as I said, I've already got these images in the back of the camera. So here is the first image I captured at about 10 past six this morning in the white desert. Enjoy. Okay, so there is the first image. Now, because in the second image, I had the camera on the X-T3 on the tripod all set up already. Now, this is something that I did and didn't want with a dual camera setup. I wanted a hybrid shooter to go and basically do video and photos in one segment. But on this trip, the more I've realized, it's there's pros and cons for having two cameras. The big pro this morning was I could walk away with the XT1, uh, XH1, sorry, and do some filming, plus I got a secondary shot. And the only reason I got that is because of the in-body in image stabilizer in the camera. To be able to handhold at quite low light, I mean, it's obviously was sunrise at that time, and to get those images was absolutely fantastic. With the XT3, I actually couldn't have just gone up here and gotten that image, so, I was actually using the X-H1 for this image and I was basically in this position right here and I had the 16mm 1.4 on. I shot it at 2.8 because obviously I want to get as much light as possible. 
but I really got down low and you can see these leading lines down here of what I was talking about before of what the desert makes and that goes into this frame of this structure here of the white desert. I got some really cool clouds in the sky which gave some great mood to the image but that is just what I wanted to talk about. The big positive to be able to record getting some b-roll segment whilst actually having the X-T3 set up and getting those images that I want. Much better for photos, but the X-H1, I have to admit, is very, very good for video. So 2.8, I wanted 120, I think I shot it at, and then basically set the ISO to automatic. And that came out to about 2000 ISO. Got that image, check sharpness, very, 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 very good actually for the in-body image stabilizer. So here is that image. There are the images from the white desert here this morning. Very, very beautiful place. I'm very, very happy with the images that I've got from here. Would have been nicer to have a longer amount of time to find those compositions, but that's what it's like when you're on a tour and traveling this way. I will touch on that fully because I've got no idea what is planned for the rest of the day, which is quite exciting, but it can become quite annoying for a photographer. Now I'm gonna head back, have some beautiful breakfast here in the white desert, soak it up, go for a walk, enjoy it. But I've got no idea what is planned for the rest of the day. Quite exciting, but quite cool. So stick around. Okay, seriously, amazing, amazing place. So many photo opportunities everywhere you go, even in harsh light. But this place that I'm in right now is the new white desert. The place we were in was the old white desert last night and this morning photographing. But this was actually all once covered by, can you believe in Egypt, floodlands. This was all water one day. I feel like Greg Snell, I love that guy to death, amazing photographer absolutely incredible filmmaker and idol I look up to and I love his little facts just throws in there it's really really informative so this is crazy it used to be covered all in water now can you believe basically whole of Egypt is covered by desert now we're off to a mountain to look at a viewpoint another desert it's a black desert we drove past yesterday plenty more things to come on this vlog and hopefully they're as good as this place And right about this point now is when things started to turn to shit. Now don't get me wrong, I spoke about last week's vlog how 
When you book tours, it's incredible for saving money, getting to the places you want to be without the hassle, but it's hard for a landscape photographer. This week it was hard for a landscape photographer and travel. So we left the white desert and done some things which was absolutely epic. You've seen my visual impressions of how impressed I was by the white desert. And don't be wrong, I still am right now. But on the way there last night, we were a bit late going there because people had some issues, whatever. We went past the black desert. And I knew we were gonna stop past there on the way back to base camp and look at that place and photograph. So here is some of the footage from the black desert. So as you can see guys, very, very cool place. Very, very unique place. I got some images there that I want to try and sell back to the company, which I'm going to do a separate vlog on why and how I do that. So we had planned to go out and do the rest of our two days. So we had three days, two nights in this uh, hotel. That's where I am now. We come back to base camp and we had another tour booked. And you know, I didn't book that tour because I wanted to do the tour. It was more financial, it was 20 US dollars for three meals and one night's accommodation. In Cairo, it was 18 US dollars for a pretty ordinary place. I'm in the desert, I'm in the middle of nowhere. It's super nice to be out here. But they got us on the tour and it wasn't very good. And it's hard to tell someone that it's not very good. Yeah, it's happy, yeah, it's really good. But then we just said to the guide, can we just go home? And then they just snapped. Why, why, what do you want, what do you? And they're really worried. And I understand that tourism in Egypt is pretty much at an all-time low. It's, it's trying to get its way back up. But you know, I understand everyone's different. It's a different culture. And I, I totally, totally respect that. But here I am now. I'm just really thinking that, you know, photography on this sort of thing isn't always perfect. You know, I, I thought about putting a positive twist on this vlog. But hey, travel... For first stop, I love traveling. It got me into photography. And secondly, photography is just not perfect, guys. There's gonna be situations where you go out and just not get what you want. I didn't have the time to location scout both this morning and last week's vlog. The location's in my head. Also the light, the light was terrible. And also just the situation of where I was just wasn't photogenic. So don't feel bad about that. Just utilize the time go out, learn the craft. I still film, still and everything. Just learn the craft and remember why we and I love to own cameras. That's pretty much what I can take from this positive twist out of a little bit of negative. Learn the craft, love the craft, love the art. That's all I can say. But that is me done from the white desert. I'm not sure what I'm going to see you guys next because we've got a few things that I really want to do. Cruise the Nile, relax, you know, because it is a holiday for me as well. And then, I'm not sure what I'm going to see you guys, but wherever it's going to be, it's going to be pretty bloody epic. So I'll catch you guys then. If you love this content, please like, subscribe and share. Message from today, like the craft, love the craft, love what you do. That is it for me today. Ciao. I miss the camera. Ciao.